This is your three minute radiation fallout forecast for Monday, February 27th, 2012. This forecast will identify the areas of highest potential fallout concern for Canada, the US, and Europe over the next 48 hours. In Canada, the moderate precipitation that Canadians experience through the weekend continues to affect the areas between Sudbury and Ontario east to Halifax. Jet stream overlay places this entire area at high risk. In the U.S., the southern coast of Alaska continues to be affected by jet stream and heavy precipitation. Hawaii may catch the edge of the jet stream on Tuesday. However, it appears most of the precipitation will have moved offshore by that time. The states at highest risk over the next two days are California, Utah, Arizona, Texas, the southern coastal regions between Texas and Florida, Florida itself, North and South Carolina, Connecticut, Vermont, Maine, and Massachusetts. In Europe, Meteo France shows current precipitation moving through the southern UK tonight and into France, Belgium, Germany, and the Netherlands after midnight. The overlay will occur in this area. Scattered showers elsewhere in Europe do not appear to be considered at risk. Nuke Report The Calvert Cliffs Nuclear Power Plant in Maryland experienced a loss of plant assessment capabilities due to a computer failure shortly before scheduled maintenance and refueling was to commence. The reactors were shut down prematurely and remain shut down at this time while the computer is being analyzed. Other important news. Widely known physicist Dr. Paolo Scampa announced today his latest calculations of deadly radioactivity in Tokyo itself. Tokyo is 100 miles south of Fukushima. He states his calculations are 25 times the maximum permissible levels currently. This is a tragedy of huge proportions. For sun enthusiasts, a strong particle bombardment is currently in progress. Sun activity does correlate to earthquake activity. Sun flares and earthquakes can all affect the performance and safety of nuclear plants. Resources used for today's forecast include StormSurf, Weather Office Canada, IntelliCast, Meteo24, and the Weather Channel Europe. Please visit FukushimaFacts.com for links to weather maps and fallout monitors for Japan, the U.S., and Europe. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.